Yeah. He's got a slogan. He doesn't like what's Rush Limbaugh's slogan? E I B. Yeah. Excellent yeah. podcast. He's got the thing C C. The truth for the youth. See that? He's got oh, like he's a plaque. Oh, he's really got himself set up with that old time. Yeah. He's got he's got a whole old logo. Old time microphone. Yeah. Kid's got a whole setup. He's got the coffee mug. <laughs> he's got almost like an E I B chair. So you know you you're absolutely right. He's some spoiled bratty kid. His yeah. parents obviously have money. Yeah, I mean, where's he getting all this equipment from? Teach them the word of God, and they consider that bullying. Yeah, I find that a big problem with not being allowed to convert. Up. The kid has like a big tea party coffee mug on his desk. Did you see that? No, I'm not kidding. Did you see it? It's a tea party. Other people to my religion and telling them it is wrong homosexuality, the belief is condemned by God, and you will go to hell if you continue. Nothing like a 14. Well, let them go to hell. That's the, their choice. Right, anyway, i got to take a break. There's a lot going on. we got we got to take a break. We'll come back. Uh, Mark Wahlberg will be here, et cetera, et cetera. But first, these words. This is John Hine, and you're enjoying Best of the Week on Howard 100. Coming up later, Mark Wahlberg talks about his career and why he decided to do the film Ted. And Wolfie hits a bunch of cons and talks to Star Trek people, gamers, and plenty more. But next up, Octomom comes in, talks about her new career move, and rides the city. This legacy sure does live on. It's the best of the week. The Howard Stern Show. Howard 100. Around the world. Oh and up your block. It's time for America to wake up. No more bullshit. This is it. It's a revolution. This is a Howard 100 News Brief. I'm Steve Warren. In addition to their regular duties at the Stern Show, two celebrated members of the Stern team will be performing this weekend with one of the most revered metal bands in music history. This is a Howard 100 News Spotlight. Howard 100 News Spotlight. What's happening is I think Metallica has made a huge mistake and, and have asked me to do uh, some comedy at the Orion Festival in Atlantic City uh, this weekend. From block party to rock party, Howard 100 News reporter and comedian extraordinaire, Shuli Agar getting the chance to make metalheads laugh this weekend. It's a, it's a festival, so there's going to be different stages, different events going on, and I think they have a comedy stage Stern Show writer Richard Christie's band, Charred Walls of the Damned, will also be playing at the festival. And so we're raring to go for Sunday with Metallica, and then tonight, uh, Friday night, we're playing a show here in, uh, in Cleveland, Ohio, at the Foundry, which I'm really excited about. What's exciting about playing the festival on Sunday? Pretty freaking amazing, and uh, plus it, it's awesome that Shuli is going to be a part of it. You know, when I got the email asking me to do the gig, I, I had to read it like four or five times because I couldn't, I couldn't grasp why my name was in the same paragraph as Metallica. But Shuli also knows being a comic at a rock concert has its challenges because fans are there to see music. No, it's very rough. Uh, it's and that's something you learn very early on in comedy, and that is uh, you got to be prepared for full combat comedy. Do you know how to ward off flying tomatoes? Yeah, you just move fast from side to side. Uh, you know, your best bet is just to keep talking as if tomatoes aren't flying by your head. And tune in to Sirius XM Liquid Metal Channel 40 for live reports from the Orion Festival this weekend. Lisa G. Howard 100 News. Listen to Howard 100 News. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Feuds within members of the Stern Show family are not rare. Some come and go, others fester for weeks. Some are easily rekindled at the drop of a hat, or in this case, the drop of a block party. Howard 100 News, behind the scenes. Howard 100 News, behind the scenes. Scott lied on the air about the $2,500. He, he did because he got actually got $2,670. Just rounding it up, you know, just rounding the money. I didn't want to go. Did you say 2600 Round it to $2,700, not round it down to $2,500. You're going to round it, you round it up to $2,670, you'll be $2,700. All right. Be forewarned, there's a lot going on in this story. That was Ronnie Munn Block Party promoter Sequoia confirming to Howard 100 News that Scott lied on air recently when he said he earned 2,500 bucks from the block party. It was actually 7% more than that. While we were on that topic, Ronnie jumped in, saying Scott hasn't been friendly toward him lately. I want to know why you're such a mummy. That's why. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> no, no. Uh, commercials, everything. used to be, you know, used to be my friend. Now it doesn't look like you're my friend anymore. 
You're very cold. Very cold. And it's not it's not my doing. You think it's my doing. I know you think I'm behind this whole thing too. But you're so fucking wrong. Do you feel as if you've been acting cold toward Ronald? No. I, don't, I, I come in, I, I come in and I say hello and we talk and we, I do my job and I work and I, you know. The facts do show that the relationship between Scott and Ronnie has soured since the block party breakup. The two don't talk nearly as much, and Ronnie, though full of excuses, hasn't spent nearly as much time sitting in Scott's studio as he used to. He's been keeping out of there for the most part. He hasn't sat in there. First of all, hold on. You were sick for a whole week. And I, I came in and I said, you were, you were coughing and sneezing. I said, you're sick. I said, yeah, I'm going to stay out. Right or wrong? Right or wrong? Right, right, right. right. that vitamin B. So that was one week, okay? <laughs> and then the week after, which was last week, we had a lot of people here. I was busy all morning. And I did come in at the end of the morning and came in and sat down. So don't, don't hear me that shit now. Sources confirm Scott was angry. Ronnie didn't have his back more during the block party blow up. And Ronnie was angry that Scott was angry, believing Ronnie didn't have his back. Stern Show Logic. John Lieberman, Howard 100 News. Howard 100 News. Get that poison out of your system. Getting the poison out since 2005. Let everything hang out. Will he or won't he? We've heard that Eric the actor has designs on being a one-time co-host with Kelly Ripa as part of a nationwide competition for her daily TV show. He's submitted an audition tape to Kelly. Will he share it with us? Here's a Howard 100 News World Exclusive. Howard 100 News World Exclusive. Just out of curiosity, is show live next week or not? Yes, then yes, I, it is live. Okay, then I still consider sending it in over the weekend to a turn show and let, letting everyone see it. Eric the actor made it known that Jan will be helping Eric throw his hat into the ring for the co 